Amos was a completely new concept in how we would operate things that were ordinarily used for laparoscopy and apply them in a way that had never been before imagined. Now this all started in 2009 and prior to that time we really had no good way to access parts of the colon and rectum but we wanted a way to target especially early cancers and remove them transanally. How could we do that? And that was where we set out to revolutionize the way surgery was done. We, our starting point was laparoscopy. We knew that we could do minimally invasive techniques with laparoscopy, but why couldn't we apply these to transanal work and remove polyps and lesions and save patients from an operation that otherwise would put them in the hospital for several days? And it was in 2009 that we realized we could use laparoscopic techniques and methods employed for single access laparoscopic surgery and use them in another way, a way never before imagined. And in that fashion, Tamis was born. We found this was going to change for the rest of our lives how rectal cancer surgery was done, not only with us, but worldwide. And so when we published this paper, we called it the giant leap forward because that's what Tamis was. It represented a giant leap forward in what we could do. and. Ultimately, the reason that we did this is because we knew it was better for patients. We knew we could do more precise surgery this way. We knew we could remove tumors more accurately. We could do it better. And this only translates into better clinical outcomes for patients. Patients love Tamis because they don't have to stay in the hospital. Most times they go home this day of surgery or the next morning. And it's a very well tolerated procedure and a very good way to remove select tumors. I think this is a time of incredible revolution for colorectal surgery. And we've seen TAMIS give rise to a new frontier called transanal total mesorectal excision, or TATME, as it's often abbreviated. TATME allows surgeons not only to carve out a tumor and remove it transanally, but indeed and in fact remove the entire rectum and many times retrieve that transanally, saving patients from what we call abdominal wall access trauma, meaning laparoscopic incisions that otherwise have to be created to remove specimens like the rectum. But there are many other advantages, and we think that because we have better access, that we can get to areas in ways that we couldn't before, so that lets us to remove those tumors in a more complete fashion. Now, why is TATME so important? We think that because we have such improved access to parts of the rectum that we couldn't otherwise access from above using laparoscopic and robotic techniques, now finally we can with this approach using the TAMIS apparatus or platform. Because of this improved access, we believe that we can actually remove the tumor better. We can do a higher quality excision, meaning we can get the cancer out with a higher rate of success. And that's what we're after, because if we can totally remove cancers and do a good quality, good job in, in removing specimens such as tumors of the rectum, then we think patients will do better. This is an absolutely amazing time in innovation that we have not seen in 30 years or more for colon and rectal surgery. And with the birth of TAMIS and TATME and now navigation, stereotactic navigation for rectal cancer surgery and these sorts of computer assisted models, they're gonna change the future of surgery altogether.